Well, striking North Shore teachers say they're finally making progress in their contract negotiations, but not enough to reopen schools in Gloucester and Marblehead tomorrow. That will add to the tally of missed days in the classroom. As WBZ's Tammy Mutasa shows us tonight, students and their families are running low on patience. Tonight, after going back and forth all day, the strike continues and school is canceled again in three towns. But here in Beverly, things got dramatic when striking teachers showed up to the council meeting. What do we want? Big when do we want it? Now. Frustrations reaching a new level in Beverly. As teachers on the picket line took their fight to City Hall, demanding a face to face conversation with their mayor. Members of the council, thank you for the time this evening. Even interrupting Mayor Michael Cahill with chants during the council meeting. We're asking him to open up bargaining and get this crisis solved now. We want to be back in school. In Gloucester, striking teachers were not moved by the fines they could face for defying court orders to return to the classroom. We are respectfully and civilly disobeying the court order, so we knew that that would come, and we're going to have to cross those bridges when we get to them. Gloucester school officials still insist the money just isn't there. It's hard to come closer together when, you know, one side is staying with their original proposal, or we'd be bargaining against ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We have to get that dialogue going. FHS! Everyone yell it! In Marblehead, students are worried about missing class and sports. The big football playoff game on Friday is in jeopardy if the strike continues, along with cheer competition and other sports. It would just be devastating if we couldn't play. Yeah, yeah. Like that's just all that hard work that we put in throughout the offseason. That would just be terrible. For the sake of his grandson and other kids, this Gloucester grandpa would like an urgent resolution. The city's money is my money, the citizens' money. And if the majority of the citizens want their teachers to be taken care of, I think they should take care of it. A judge will have to decide what fines the teachers will have to pay if they don't go back to work as ordered. In Beverly, Tammy Matassam, WBZ News.